Hey guys, John Rettinger here with an unboxing for you of the Amazon Kindle 2. This is an e-reader, so it's a way to read books without the paper. Let's go ahead and unbox it. This is straight from Amazon. It's the packaging that it'll come in. Open it up with the obligatory big knife. Down there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and dig in. This is a little bit on the expensive side for devices. It'll run you about $359 uh, US. Right now it's only available on the US. And unlike the first Kindle, this does not come with a cover. The cover is another $30. Make sure you factor that into your purchase. So you're probably looking at around $400 total. Here we've got the Kindle cover. This should be a, the K for uh, symmetry. Let's go ahead and open this thing up first. Just in cardboard. Very echo friendly from Amazon with a little pull tab here. So we'll go ahead and pull that open. Get the packing stuff there. All right, take that off. This is my first digital reader I've ever had, so I'm very curious to see what it looks like. You can see there's little some symbols and letters in there. And it says Amazon Kindle and kind of embossed black. And it says, Kindle, set on fire, inspire, stir up, catch fire, or become animated. So here's the actual cover itself. And another little flap that it was in. And this one does feel like it's made out of actual leather. It does pass the smell test. It's got some cushioning in here to protect the device. And a little diagram showing you how it fits in, rotate and snap. But that's not what you guys are here to see. So this is the cover, which I think everybody should definitely have. The Kindle, the front of the device actually doesn't have any protection. The, what you're reading is actually the e-ink display without anything covering it. So here is the Kindle itself. Box just says Kindle. Some information on the side letting you know it's assembled in China. The little pull tab and nothing on the box. Go ahead and pull the tab here. I'm very excited to, to use this. For most books, even new releases and New York Times bestseller, they're about $10 on the Kindle store. And, you know, to get a hardcover book is generally $25 to $30. So you're looking at a, anywhere from $10 to $15, possibly $20 savings on your book. So if you do a lot of reading, you can recoup the cost of the device that way. Open it up again. It's got those sort of embossed letters flowing. And here's the tray that it comes in. Some more of the embossing right there. No cushioning or anything, just straight cardboard. So here is the device itself. It's got that same sort of embossed color on the front. Try and get that in the camera. You can see it sort of flowing right there. It says Amazon Kindle right in the middle. That little pull tab on the side. And on the back, sort of those more lettering. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Yet another tab. That one's a little bit easier. Cardboard just comes off. And there's a, another cover here. Go ahead and pull that up. And there is the device itself. Amazon Kindle. It's my first time actually holding one of these. It has a nice weight to it, but not too heavy. It's certainly very thin. I'll show you guys some size comparisons in a moment. It says right here, step two, slide and release the power switch above. Your screen will refresh in a few minutes. Plug in your new Kindle. So we'll go ahead and uh, do all that in just a moment. Let's see what else comes in the box here. I'm going to pull up this tray. It's actually made of a very hard plastic here. This is not cardboard. So that's nice to know that things are uh, protected in there. But it does show you that it is recycled. So that is always nice. We've got Amazon Kindle user's guide and getting started. Probably never use that. Not a directions kind of guy, but if you are, go ahead and take a look at that. Here is the charger. Let's see what this looks like. Very thin. The US adapter right there. And this actually uses a micro USB, so it's a standard port, which is very nice. A lot of cell phones use micro USB. And this right here pulls right off, plugs just in via USB cable. So you can actually use this to charge your iPod or any other USB device. It's kind of a handy thing to have around plug that back in. 
Let's take a look at the device itself. Amazon claims that this is actually thinner than any 3G phone. You can actually download books directly on here using Amazon's WhisperNet. Essentially what that does, it uses Sprint's 3G and now older legacy networks to download books right to the device. So you actually never ever have to use a computer to download your books, which is very cool. It does sort of look like a first gen iPod. So let's do a, some size comparisons for you so you can get a sense of how big and how thick it is, I'll show you. There it is with the iPhone. See it's significantly bigger. Here it is with the Pantech Matrix Pro. You can see a pretty decent size comparison uh, right there. And let me compare a normal size hardcover book for you too so you guys can, can see the difference here. Here's one of my favorite books, Jack Welch's Winning. You can see that it is significantly smaller, so I'll stack that on top. You can see a difference. Obviously what you're going to read is just the screen, but size-wise, there's a significant difference. Let's go ahead and do a thickness comparison too and see if what Amazon says is true. So here's the iPhone, only phones I have laying around right now, and that is definitely a difference right there. You can clearly see that the Kindle is thinner, and certainly it's going to be thinner than the Pantech as well. And here I've got the Samsung Epix. Big difference there also. So let's go ahead and take off the plastic. And I'll give you guys a hardware tour very quickly. So the cool thing about this e-ink display is that the battery is only used when the image on the screen is changing. So right now this is actually on the screen, but it's not using up any battery. Which actually makes it very, <laughs> very neat. So on the front of it, we've got a, actually I'll put it down here. I'll zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. Almost a Blackberry style QWERTY keyboard. Obviously that's intended for thumb typing, for looking up books and such. It does have a full row of number keys across the top. You're not going to use the keyboard that much, but for what you need it for, it does seem to be very usable. So one of the complaints people had with the previous Kindle was the next page button extended across the entire side of it when you picked it up or just were reading, you always hit that next page button. There was a lot of complaints about it. So it looks like Amazon fixed that with this Kindle. You can't turn the next page button by hitting the outside. You actually have to push the inside to make it click. So that should eliminate the accidental presses. No click, and there's the click. So there's your next page button. On top is a home button, which takes you back to obviously your home and shows you what you have downloaded. Previous page, next page, so if you're left or right-handed, a menu button, a back button, and now a five-way little joystick toggle that also pushes in for that fifth way. The previous Kindle had a scroll wheel, but this one actually now lets you go left and right and kind of scroll all around here, so that's very nice. They did get rid of the removable battery, unfortunately, so the battery is sealed in here, but they do are, Amazon is claiming improved battery life, so we'll see if that's true. You've got two speaker grills on the back for the speaking functionality. So what this will actually do is it will read the text to you. It sounds very computer and mechanical, but it will still read the text, which is uh, kind of neat, actually. And I'll give you guys a demo of that uh, in an upcoming video. So battery is sealed, so nothing else to see there. On top of the device, you've got your power button and your 3.5 millimeter headset jack, so you can listen to your books from headphones if you're on an airplane. Nothing else really on the side, nothing on the side there, except for a volume, volume up and down rocker. And that's about it guys, on the bottom is the charging port for that micro USB. So guys, that is just about it, let's see if this has any power in it at all. Slide and release the switch above, so we'll go ahead and do that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, looks like I gotta follow step one and plug this thing in first. So I will do that and I'll ship. Nope, there it goes. Doing something. Amazon Kindle, get that little bar flashing, letting you know that it's loading. I'll leave that there and let you guys see this in real time. And again, like I mentioned, the e-ink, none of this is using any battery. The only battery that's being used right now is just moving this bar across the top. And the screen feels pretty secure, but I wouldn't want to throw this in a backpack and risk something getting damaged on it. So definitely the case and the cover is going to be something you're really going to want to invest in. So when you buy a Kindle, it actually registers it to your Amazon account, so your information should already be there. 
So when this turns on, it should say John's Kindle, at least in theory. So let's see if it does that once it finishes loading. Refreshing. See the little icon up right there, letting you know that it's downloading and syncing. Welcome to Kindle. All right, I'll go ahead and look at that later. Let's go home. My Kindle. So it looks like that's all uh, taken care of. I have to sync it up possibly on the computer. Maybe I didn't put input my account information correctly when I purchased it. Nope, there it goes, refreshed. Jonathan's Kindle now it says, right in the upper left hand corner. So it really did a very nice job of syncing itself up automatically. It's downloading an item right now. Welcome Jonathan from Jeff Bezos, who is uh, the heads of Amazon. So that's very cool. You just navigate using that little line. You know, guys, I'm gonna go give this a charge, and actually it's already got a decent charge in it, but I'm gonna go use the device and stay tuned to the rest of the week for new videos showing some software features, how to download a book, and at the end, showing you a full review of the device. Hope you guys enjoyed. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.